Hello, welcome to the class jobs recording for Mr. Garrett's class. This recording is intended to help you do a couple of things. One, review um, class jobs and kind of know what they, what they are, and also help you practice using video note taking or taking notes on a video. So, as we move forward, here we go. Okay. Um, so, challenge cycle. We've gone through the challenge cycle where we talked about you know, what are jobs, what do you know about jobs, we're going to skip that one. Uh, not going to make you watch a video of watching a video, but um, if you want to, you can go and find this video about what is a job in YouTube. Uh, basically just talks about a job, we've seen this in class. Um, if you're looking at this for the first time, you can go and YouTube it. Vocabulary, things you're going to hear me say. Class job is a task you do for the teacher. This is something that I'm trying out this year. I haven't really done it in the past, or I've done it in fits and spurts. So this is going to be a new thing for me. Um, job description. This tells you what your responsibilities are. You'll find these job descriptions in the in this presentation. Also, it tells you what you're not responsible for. If it's not listed on the job description, then you want to uh, make sure that you bring that to the attention of the person who's overseeing or um, giving you the job. Okay, you're going to hear me use the term scribe. This was back in medieval times. We'll get more into that, but this is a student who takes notes. Um, a researcher is the student who finds information, goes out and ans finds the answers to questions that weren't answered in class, or goes out and gets more information that people may need. Communication specialist, student who maintains a class site or um, helps communicate with the class. Quality control. This is a student who monitors communications for errors and makes sure they're in good, that things are in good quality. Okay. Uh, so how jobs work. Hopefully my goal with these is to make things more efficient, um, make things easier for you to get information kind of a different way rather than just listening to me present in class. Um, it's going to switch throughout the semester. I'm still not overly sure um, what the switching is going to look like, but I will be the one that's in charge of that. Um, I'll make sure that I choose things e equitably, not necessarily equally, but equitably, so everybody will get their fair turn or their fair share. Um, you're going to be working for me. You're responsible till the end of the unit, and your responsibilities are the stuff you're producing is to the class. Okay, and this is also going to help me kind of populate my the textbook that I've talked about in class. First job, scribe. Back in ancient times, scribes were probably the most important person. As you can see in this picture over here on the right-hand side of the screen, this was a scribe. Um, they went to, for lack of a better term, schools, or church, usually in churches or monasteries, to learn how to read and write. They were responsible for recording things down. They were held in high regard um, because they were one of the few people in the world that could read and write whereas most people didn't really have a need to be able to read or write. Um, so as the class recorder, you're going to be the recorder for the class for that lesson or that unit. Everybody will be taking notes, and you're practicing this right now, um, but you're going to be taking notes for the class um, to be posted online for people to be able to refer back to. Um, you'll be taking notes on assignments, videos, presentations, what we feel is important. Your audience will be the class and parents. Um, you, parents may be viewing this as a way to help their kids or learn more about what's going on in class. You'll be responsible to report things to or give things to the communication specialist for publication. Tools that you have at your discretion. You'll have a notebook. You can use your notes, um, the notebook that you will use to take notes. You can use Google Docs. You'll be one of the few people that will be able to take notes online using Google Docs. A website that we're going to be practicing and hopefully you're using with this called vidnot.es. It's video notes with a little period in there. Word or OneNote or Google Keep. There's a multitude of tools. Okay, this is probably the most important job in the class. Um, and next to the quality control specialist, um, because in, it should be feeling in high regard when you're selected to do this one. The next one is the student communication specialist. Your job is to maintain that whatever communication structure we choose to use or you choose to use. You may find that making copies of the person's notes is the best way to do that. Um, you may find that having a class site or working with my TA to post it to the class wiki is the way to go. You have your tools, a class website, printer, Google Groups, email, Google Classroom. It's up to you 
um, you'll be working with me. You'll get your stuff, you'll get the information from the scribe, um, but you're going to be responsible for posting it. The next person, this is probably the next most important one, um, is the quality control person. You would be surprised at how much money um, companies or some companies throw at a quality control person. Their, their job is to make sure that everything is error free, has facts or is tied to facts, is cited, has citations, um, has substance. Does it have enough information? Do it, does it have those supporting details, those concrete details? Does it have um, those citations? Does it tell people what it was intended to tell them? Or is it just simply copying down what's on the screen? Okay, um, you're making sure that things are on time. You're making sure that in information is up to date and not out of date, not last year's notes or last, last week's notes if it's something new. You'll have several tools over here at your disposal, a dictionary, you can use the grammar and speller check, certainly talk with others on that. The last job I want to talk about is the student researcher. Your job is to make sure that if there's a question I can't answer or if somebody has a question as part of the class and um, they feel it's it needs to be answered, you're going to be make sure that that information is found. You may need to go out and look in the internet, look at websites, blogs, look for experts that are out there. You may look at other teachers, talk to talk to your other teachers. Maybe it's a social studies question. Maybe we're looking at how more information on coordinate planes and I couldn't get an answer there. Your job would be to go and talk with maybe math teachers or maybe the science teachers. Um, you can talk with family members, parents, check out books at the library. Okay, this is your job is to find this information for the class not just for okay, not just for yourself and you're gonna make sure that this info is shared okay so this completes our jobs presentation uh, hopefully you found some inter in interesting information if you have any questions that came up or popped up feel free to um, have them jotted down in your notes and bring them back into class or um, feel free to email me at jgarrett at fiveschools.com